Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to Heyday and today I'm going to be focusing on the boosters. Now, the update for 2019 gave us some subtle changes within the game. One of them was a design change for the boosters and I do like it. I specifically like the fact that the stars are now much bolder, the colours are nicer and it does look and feel a little bit more in keeping with some of the game changes that have happened. I'm still dissatisfied in relation to some aspects of the booster changes and I'm still looking to see a lot more happen as well. Now what are boosters? Boosters are a card that you can get within the game and these boosters allow you to do a lot of additional tasks within the game to make it easier for you. So they are really, really beneficial. It could be a time speed up, it could be more of one item. It could actually be activating helpers, as you'll see later, that will do a specific quantity of tasks for you while you are out of the game. So the boosters are really good. Now, some of the boosters are kind of like, yeah, I don't like them. Some of the boosters are okay, some of them are good, and some of them are really good. And depending on the boosters and your way of playing depends on what you want to keep. Now, one of the things I don't like with the boosters is the fact that I don't know which ones are purchased versus which ones are awarded within the game. Now, with the Valley, one of my concerns was, do I have to pay to keep those boosters? And today in the video, as I move through, I will show you that you don't actually have to pay to keep those boosters, which is very pleasing for me. Now, you'll see here that my booster storage is full up. It says I need to spend diamonds. I have six diamonds to keep a booster. Uh, but... Is that a good thing or not? Now, in the case of some boosters, not a problem. However, the next booster then becomes more expensive. The booster after that becomes even more expensive. So you can see that I'm paying up to 20 diamonds there to keep the boosters. 10 purchased, 8 of 3 in storage. And I don't know which ones are purchased versus not purchased. This is a bugbear for me. And I'm hoping that Heyday does change it. Now I'm going to use two of these boosters now. Just to reduce down the ones that are in storage. Uh, it's not going to be the ideal thing for me for when it comes to saving my boosters later but it will mean the diamonds are a lot less so I'm going to activate uh, the two helpers and these are the ones I like the most because they can collect items for me feed my animals while I'm actually out of the game and they're also good for the valley as well so any feeding of the animals that they do do go towards my valley points when I'm not actually playing so I can spin the wood a little faster as well so yay that's a benefit Okay, they've been activated. You'll now see that the storage is a lot less. Nine purchased down there and seven of three. So, hmm, interesting. Uh, somehow I think that the actual quantities there are not really working out the way they should be, but we'll see. Right, now the key thing here for this video is to go into the valley, spend my tokens, and then choose some of the boosters there. Now... Is that going to cost me the diamonds or not? Now, I can't activate any more of these boosters because I've already got them. The fishing ones and other ones that are there, I could activate some of those as well. It's going to cost me more diamonds, but I don't need them at this moment in time, even though there are some good ones there. Right, well, let's jump to the valley anyway. So, as I said, there's some prizes there to be done. This was from the trial period. We had two boosters in my prizes that I did like. One for the fishing there, and one that was actually a coin booster as well. So, both very nice. Three star one there, yeah, that's not too bad. But the actual fishing one up there at the top is a three star as well, and that is for the ducks. Uh, sorry, not for ducks, for the seagulls, which is much faster for turning those around. So, I'm going to buy that one with the tokens I've got anyway but the question is do I have to pay to keep it and this is what I want to find out so there we go it's now purchased the item sold we jump back to my farm and you'll see it's not there it's jumped straight into my storage and it didn't cost me any diamonds that's taken me nine purchase seven and three of storage so I'm very happy about that so the test result here any of the valley boosters that you're purchasing with the tokens you don't actually have to pay to keep those yet Okay, right. Hey, Dave, please still update the boosters. I want to know which is purchased versus which is not. But other than that, I think the change is a little nicer and it does look better. And I'm happy that I don't actually uh, have to pay to keep these new boosters from the Valley. But either way, see you next time, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment and enjoy my videos. Bye now.